everyone. Now that you've understood about your personality, let's look at how to build our confidence. But before that, what do you understand or mean by confidence? Have you ever heard this word being told to you? Are you feeling confident? You look a bit less confident today. Are you confident now? Are you, are you sure that you're going to do this? So there are several questions which are asked to you on something that you, you're not sure of, okay? You've, you've heard this word confidence several times, but you really do not know whether you are confident or not, or what actually is confidence? How do we say whether we are self-confident or not? Or how do we know whether we are confident or not? Whether we are depicting confident or not? Confidence or not? Often I have seen people um, misunderstanding personality and confidence, and they feel that if you dress really well, you know, if you look very beautiful, you, if you look very pretty, if you look very, uh, you're dressed very smart, your personality is good, or that shows that you are confident. Uh, that you're confident or that shows your confidence but take it from me even if you are uh, just think about some people who you have come across I have come across several people who are really well dressed you know who look very smart who have worn one of the best brands that you can think of who have maybe taken a salon um, session before coming to whichever occasion that that could be but the moment they either speak or the way they behave or mm, given a, a topic that they need to talk on or given a situation they need to handle or tackle all that smartness all that uh, you know outlook that they are carrying goes for a toss so first thing first appearance matters but appearance is not what confidence is just like appearance is not what personality is Confidence is a very simple term. It talks about how you think about yourself, whether you know yourself better or not, whether you can take decisions on your own or not, whether you can strive hard to perform or not. So there are a lot of things. It's about, so the, I'll, I'll throw some words at you. There are words like self-esteem, self-prestige, self-awareness, self-evaluation. -eval it's all about you if you want to build confidence, how you treat yourself, how you tackle situations, how you are aware of yourself, how you evaluate yourself, what kind of uh, roles you play. There are a lot of things that put together becomes your self-confidence. Now we are going to look at how to build confidence, ways to building this very often quoted word called confidence. You have to be confident. Why aren't you confident? Show confidence. And I would just give you a caveat here, for the same situation, you might feel confident today, you might feel less confident tomorrow. For the same set of people when you talk to, you might feel confident today, you might feel less confident tomorrow. So it's not a hard and fast rule that I have built in confidence, so I'm going to stay like that. There could be changes. So we'll have to be ready for those changes and surprises too. So just take some time and think and for these all these sessions on self-confidence I would request one thing from you always carry a small notebook and a paper, uh, pencil or pen because there'll be a lot of things that I'll ask you to do and reflect upon because it's your self-reflection your self-prestige your self-worth your self-respect all these put together becomes your confidence So I talked about self-awareness. The first thing that you should do is you have known people, okay? So there is a concept called know your customer in finance. Know your customer. Every time, uh, just check with your parents when they have to apply for a bank loan or when they have to, uh, any kind of loans or when they have to open a bank account, your bank will ask for a, they'll ask for some details. That's known as know your customer. Everybody is trying to know each other. You too are trying to understand other people. The first person you should know more about is yourself. That is when you'll be able to build confidence, develop confidence. Know yourself, acknowledge that there are aspects of yourself that you wish to change and understand what has stopped you feeling confident so far. So if you feel we will again give you certain uh, uh, confidence uh, statements so that we know. But I'll be asking certain statements here during the sessions so that we understand whether you are feeling confident or not. 
Now, take that notebook that I asked you to carry and just grab it quickly, pause the session, pause the video and grab a notebook quickly and write this. What has made me feel less confident today? Or ask yourself, am I feeling confident today? Just write this word, this sentence in your, these two sentences in your notebook. If you're feeling confident, you don't have to write the second sentence. If you're already feeling confident, don't write the second sentence. But if you feel that you're not feeling confident, write the second sentence, why am I not feeling that confident today? Once you have written these, uh, these two statements, depending on whether you're feeling confident or not, try to find, talk to yourself, okay? Know yourself. Find about yourself. What do I like the most? Who is my best friend? What do I like to eat? What situations make me happy? When do I feel sad? What, what makes me spring up from my chair and take an action? So there are several questions I'll share with you. All these list of questions on what all questions you or statements you should be asking to yourself so that you feel that I'm feeling confident. Before that, before even feeling confident, the questions need to probe you and not anyone else, whether you know yourself or not. And you will find at times the statements will, one, will make you wonder, uh, do I actually like some food? Do I actually know what my favorite color is? If the answer is instant, you know yourself well. But if the answer is not instant, which means you have not studied yourself, you are busy studying the environment, other people, you are busy in your daily chores, you are busy in whatever you are doing. But you have not spoken to yourself. You have not talked to yourself. You have not understood who you really are. We will do several exercises in the upcoming uh, lessons and you will find that you will actually be able to find yourself. If you have not been able to recognize who you are, that is not going to help you. Okay? So write this question again. Uh, am I con feeling confident today? Just write it second times. If no, why am I not feeling confident today? If you are feeling confident, great. If you are not feeling confident, just write down those points. Now, once again, try to acknowledge that there are aspects of yourself that you wish to change if and understand what has stopped you from feeling confident. So, if you are feeling confident, well and good. If not, then just, just speak to yourself. Okay, there are certain aspects of my life which I need to change, which needs change. Okay, and when I give you those uh, statements of knowing yourself, answer each question, whatever first thing that comes in, in your mind, write that answer. If that is the first thing that comes in your mind, you know yourself well. But if you have to think, one question that you have to literally think over means that you do not know yourself that well. It's fine. At least you have taken an attempt to know yourself, that is important. But you should first try to know about yourself. Once you do that, then only you'll be able to understand the aspects that you need to work on so that you start feeling confident. So, there are actually five elements of self-confidence. First one being know yourself. Then second is ITIA, Ishya. Just, just remember this, Ishya. I had told you in memory how to memorize things. So, there are mnemonics and there are abbreviations. So, this is one of those mnemonics, Ishya. Now, what is this issue? The, four, the rest of the four elements, I, T, I, A. First element is self-awareness, wherein you are trying to find out about yourself. Second element consists of the four things, Ishia. What is I in the Ishia? Intention. Assert your intention to be confident and make a commitment. If you do not have the intent, meaning the, the intention of becoming confident, you will never be able to. So again, write in your notebook, I want to be confident. So you have to prove with commitment. It, it requires a lot of commitment. Here also, you, have to, you need to change your behavior, you need to change your habits. Okay. So if you don't do that, you will not reach up to the level of becoming confident. So write it in your notebook that I have the intent to becoming confident. So assert your intention to be confident and make a commitment. Write to yourself, I am intending to be committed towards becoming a confident person. If you feel that this sentence is very complicated, just write intention, which will make you believe that, okay, my intention is that I am giving a commitment. Or write two words, intention, then comma, 
commitment. So my intention is that I am being committed. Okay, so please write it down in your notebook. The, the second element is intention. Intention to commitment. Change your thinking and this is very important. So the T here. I is intention, T is the thinking. If you are not changing your thinking, which again relates to your beliefs, this includes changing restrictive attitudes and beliefs. My attitude, attitude is the way I think towards something or someone. The opinions that we have, that is what frames, uh, either makes it positive or negative, okay? So you'll have to change your thinking. If you do not change your thinking, if you do not change your attitudes and beliefs, you will not be able to show confidence. You will not feel confident. Forget about showing confidence. You will not be able to feel confident. So be ready to change your thinking. Now what are these kind of thinkings? Let me, let me just give you some examples. Um, the, the belief that people are born with talent okay, and cannot acquire talent is something that you need to change. So you are thinking that okay, I will not be able to, I had given you example of one of these um, people who didn't have arms and legs. You remember in one of the sessions I had said that he did not, ha he was a person with disability to such an extent that he just has the body, no arms, no legs. So if he would have had that belief that since I am totally disabled without arms and legs, I will just be begging, then he wouldn't have been a millionaire today. He wouldn't have been a motivator today. So that thinking you have to change that you need to be 100% um, you know, privileged to grow in your life. You must be coming across news wherein you see that a person from a very uh, lower strata income, a person from a very poor family has scored really good marks in matriculations in uh, UPSC or has become ISC, IPS, uh, IAS, IPS. How do they, how do, they do that? Okay? They did not get the environment, they did not get the opportunities, they took the opportunities and they changed their beliefs that people from lower strata or people from a very poor family cannot succeed. All right, so the thinking you will have to change. The thinking of, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, putting again people in, or things into a, a jar. Okay, this is, if you are born in a rich family, then only you can become rich. If you are born in an intelligent family, then only you can become intelligent. So these thoughts that I will not be able to succeed because uh, nobody helped me. So these kind of thoughts that you get, that forms your beliefs and attitude. You need to change. So the third element is thinking. Fourth element is use your imagination and this is very important. Your personality of, uh, you, uh, in one of your personality types, you would find that there would be questions on imagination. Always being rational will not help. Use your imagination and this imagination is about yourself. Imagine yourself as a confident person and I have told you during the public speaking lessons and personality also visualization. It's all about visualization. Visualize yourself, close your eyes and then visualize that I am a confident person. I am not fumbling, I am not, you know, uh, I am putting across my words properly, my points and ideas properly. If people are countering, I have the answer to it. So think about those situations. You are confident, okay? Act as if you are already confident. So just the way I had said in the personality development session that act, okay, uh, let people know, let, let you yourself also know that, yeah, I am confident. So act as if you are already confident. The more you speak and behave confidently, the more confident you become. So when you do these things, Ishia, intention, thinking, imagination and act. And the first thing that you did is, Self-awareness. When you put together all these things, it's like a pot. You're putting everything together and creating a wholesome meal for yourself. And when you consume that, you already, it's kind of a pill that you're making for yourself, a, a kind of a healthy soup for confidence. That soup, when you consume, you start feeling confident. So let me just reiterate once again. In your notebook, you've written, I am confident, or the things that can, that you need to change to be confident, okay? And now what you're doing, you are self you're trying to find out more about yourself. So answer those questions that we have sent to you. Try to find out more about yourself. Once you have done that, then have the intention, intention of becoming confident. Change your thinking. Use imagination. You're already confident that you are in a situation wherein you, you are feeling confident. And 
act as if you're confident. So one confident. Once you've done all of these five things, you automatically are in the journey towards building your confidence. In the next lessons, we are going to do a lot of exercises. I'll ask you to write down in your notebook, so don't keep the notebook away. And we will see how to move in the journey. Now, you've just started the journey. How to take every step and become a confident person. Thanks for watching.